So I totally forgot to tell you guys my due date. <laughs> Out of all of the excitement, that's the detail I missed. Our due date is... props to my husband for making my awesome chalkboard back there. He did that all himself and he did it just for me. So thank you. Today I am five weeks pregnant exactly. I know I just did a vlog at four weeks three days which not a lot of time between four weeks three days and now but I wanted to do one today because I'm going to be doing one every week on Saturdays when I will be a new week. So next week I'll do one on Saturday where I'll be six weeks and so on and so forth. And I'm going to be doing it at my new setup, so that'll be even more exciting. As far as symptoms go, not a whole lot has changed. Uh, last I updated you guys on my weight, I was 149, and I've lost weight back down to 146. And I've pretty, I've maintained that yesterday and today, so I don't really know what that was about. I usually don't gain a whole bunch of weight my first uh, trimester, except towards the end. Usually towards the end is when I start to gain. I know I did with the girls. I'm still nauseous all the time and it's killing me and I hate it. <laughs> not my favorite pregnancy symptom, that's for sure. I'm not really feeling the fatigue yet, but then again, I didn't with the girls until I was like five or six weeks, so give me next week. And if I don't feel it next week, maybe I won't. Let's hope. <laughs> my boobs aren't sore anymore, thank God, because that's miserable. I don't know why they were there for a couple of days, but they were. I'm still craving onions, like a lot. <laughs> um, actually, I'll show you guys a picture of what my husband did this morning. These are the homemade onion rings my husband made for me this morning. They may not be the most beautiful things in the world, but they were delicious. They were so good. So I totally forgot to tell you guys my due date. <laughs> Out of all of the excitement, that's the detail I missed. Our due date is February 25th, 2017. This is our first winter baby because both Carly and Kinley are summer babies. And I'm actually pretty excited about it because it's miserable being pregnant in the summer. I mean, you're big and you're hot and you're heavy and you can't get comfortable and it's just awful. <laughs> it's not fun. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited to have a baby in the winter time. And I know that I'm sure there are, you know, challenges and pros and cons with having a winter baby, but at least I won't be hot. <laughs> being hot and big and pregnant is just, oh no, no, no. I don't like it. It's not fun. The downside, I guess, is I now have to buy new maternity clothes because all of my maternity clothes are summer. So now I have to buy winter maternity clothes. I have like three pairs of jeans. So I have jeans. I just need like maybe one or two more. I really need maternity tops. Uh, that's what I'm really looking for. If you guys are curious whether me and Devin want a boy or a girl, we really would like to have a boy. That's what we're really hoping for. But if it's a girl, it'll be okay. We still love her. We'll still adore her. It's not going to really change our affection for her. <laughs> we would just like to have a boy because we have two girls and we would like to experience the other side of things. But if she's a girl, it'll be okay. We will love her to pieces and we'll be just as thrilled if she were a boy. Also, with a winter pregnancy comes winter maternity pictures. Which really excites me because uh, December is going to be a really exciting, exciting month for us. Um, not only is it Christmas, but it is also mine and Devin's anniversary. We got married December 31st of 2013. So if we do maternity pictures in December, it will be Christmas, our anniversary, and our maternity pictures kind of all rolled in one. And I, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> I'm, that. That idea really excites me, and that would be a lot of fun. I'm really hoping we can do that. I just don't know how I feel about it right now because I don't usually do maternity pictures in my third trimester or anywhere close to it because I get really big really fast, and I'm kind of self-conscious about it. I don't know what it is. Something about my body, as soon as I hit my second trimester, I explode. Like, I get really pregnant really fast. And I don't know if it's because I'm really short and I have like this much torso or what it is. I don't know what it is. I just know that I get really pregnant really fast and I'm kind of self-conscious about it. Um, so I usually don't like to do maternity pictures in the third trimester, but Considering how special the month of December will be for me and Devin and our family, I'm really, really thinking about making an exception. <laughs> Just this once, right? So that I'm really excited for. That will be um, very exciting to look forward to. I mean, that's like six months from now, but, but still. 
I'll tell you guys something else I'm really excited about. I am so excited to do a birth vlog. I have seen like a million and one of them on YouTube. I think I've seen them all, actually. <laughs> I've watched a lot of them. Um, and I'm so excited to do my own. I really wish that we could have done a home birth. One, it just looks like a more relaxing environment. And two, and I guess most of all, not really two, but most of all, you can birth the way that you want to. Standing, sitting, kneeling, it doesn't matter. And, you, and, and I wanted to be in water. I would, would really love love to have a home water birth that would just i would love that midwives however are not covered by our insurance <laughs> like at all so uh it's just the cheaper route to go the hospital route but it's okay because my obstetrician is amazing she's like the closest you can get to a midwife without having one she's she's the bomb so i'm not like too bummed about it because i have an amazing ob but i still kind of am because i can't be in water but i'm still excited to do the birth vlog because it's still going to be exciting for us and um i've just always wanted to do one so the excitement is still going to be there regardless if it's home or at the hospital Devin and i also want to do a gender reveal i just don't know how <laughs> we'll find out the gender of this baby either the last week of september or the first week of october probably somewhere in there and i really don't know how we're going to announce the gender um if you all have any ideas viewers if you have any ideas or anything that you want us to do or uh anything like that drop me a comment below um i will very much read them and take it into consideration because I'm drawing a blank right now. I'm thinking about doing like the pumpkins or something like that. I just, I don't know. Now I want to ask you all, what do you all think Dev and I are having? Are you team boy or are you team girl? I'm really interested what your opinions are. So drop me a comment. Tell me if you're team boy or team girl. It's really not going to hurt our feelings. You're, you're not hurting our feelings. I just want to see what your opinions are and get your insight. So please drop me a comment. I, I really love reading them. I love seeing them. And thank you all so much for watching. Bye.